Hey guys and welcome back! I am Primus and this is my channel. So it is again another Hiking the Island video in my studio, but I promise you this is going to be the last one since this is also the last one that I have from Porto Santo. On our last hike we decided to go to one of the PRs, the recommended courses that exists in Porto Santo, and this one was the PR1 which goes from the street and goes up to the Pico Branco and Terra Chã. It's almost three kilometers, I'm rounding it up and it takes about one and a half hour to do it. This is because of the long staircase that is along the way and it's only one and a half hours in one direction. In fact, this route was made in this way to facilitate the passage of farmers to reach the cultivated land, but also to help the passage of donkeys with loads. One thing that you have to remember to bring with you is water. There is no water resources along the way, so bring enough water if you're a person that likes to drink a lot. You can see that at the beginning of the hike I was wearing a jacket, that's because although it is sunny and the sun is really hot, the wind was so strong that I started being cold. So you can imagine how strong that is. Along the way to the top of Pico Branco, it is possible to find an enormous prismatic geological formation in which the footpath was carved, known as Rocha Quebrada. In the last few decades, this path has been remade. Uh, you now have a rail to protect you and also there are staircases all along the way where they are actually necessary. But I would not advise you to put your whole weight on the rail since, you know, these things are made once and there might be people looking to see if they are in good shape, but I still would not advise you to put your whole weight on top of them. Along the way you will find a lot of farmlands that have been abandoned and this goes all along the way until you reach the, the long staircase.
don't know, any place where it's not that much windy. So we are going up now here where we are going up here where we have some stairs and then we're going basically all this way here. Oopsie. We're basically going all the way here up into this place here. So um, this is the part where you have to climb a little. Uh, it's about what? It seems like about 100 meters if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not sure. So now we are going up and let's see if I can again film me talking to you without so much wind. Oh, look at that. No wind. I am protected by the wind. <laughs> The numerous natural viewpoints that this footpath offers allows you to glimpse a large part of the island of Porto Santo, such as Serra de Dentro, Pico do Conselho, Ilhéu de Cima, Pico do Macerico, Portela, the village, part of the beach, Pico and the Ferreira, Calheta, Espigão dos Morenos, and Ilhéu de Baixo. Well, this staircase, this long staircase, leads you to a rock that is the rock of the Cabeço do Caranguejo, where you will find that the trail is again very flat. There you will also find this beautiful landscape full of cypresses. These trees are not actual from the island. This kind of tree was brought from California. The cypress enjoys a more moist, temperate climate and can also be close to the sea breeze. It's a species that withstands a dry, sandy and also calcareous type of soil, which makes it perfect for the climate of Porto Santo. This whole area belongs to this Natura 2000 network. And the hot cypress that you see there were, in fact, planted at the beginning of the 20th century. Along the path, you will find this manual work where you can see a lot of stone walls that they actually were made to support the soil, which reflects the seriousness of the disappearance of natural soil and vegetation. After a while, we like, let's say five minutes, you get to this point where you see a junction where if you go left, you will find Pico Branco and if you go right, you will see Terra Chem. So we decided to go first to Pico Branco. There's one thing that is very impressive when you get to Pico Branco. At least that it was the experience that uh, we had, which was, how do I say this? You remember when I told you that I still haven't started the hike and I was already cold because of the enormous amount of wind that was there? Well, when we got to Pico Branco, there was absolutely no wind whatsoever. Yeah, we were protected by, by trees from the sun, but we still had enough entrances for the wind to come through. And there was this quiet moment. Branco is the third highest peak in Porto Santo with 450 meters in altitude. 
The name of this peak is a name attributed to the existence of a column of white stone and many white urzel-type lichens, which grow on the rock and were also exported from Porto Santo for the production of paints and of other relative species. This is the only place in the whole island of Porto Santo where the greatest number of specimens of preserved indigenous flora has been recorded, as they have taken refuge in inaccessible areas and even cliffs. Here, the indigenous vegetation is mainly shrubs and plants. So eventually we decided to go down to go to Terre Chien. When you get to Terre Chien, there's the view is a little shorter, you don't see as much as when you are in Pico Branco, but you can still see the Pico Branco. You see a lot of the cliffs, you can see perfectly the Ilhéu de Cima and the village of Porto Santo. In Terre Chien, there is a house built in stone, recently restored to support the propagation of endemic plants, the reintroduction into an environment and the carrying out of scientific studies. After this amazing experience, we came back to the car. It actually takes less time to get to the car than getting to these different places. I think it's also a combination of wanting to see every site that you are going through and also that enormous staircase that takes your breath out. So the coming back doesn't take that much time. It takes about 45 minutes. So leave in the comment section down below which one was your favorite hike in Madeira that you already done and also leave a thumbs up if you like this video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do that so you can see the upcoming videos. I'll see you next time. Bye!